We've recently introduced some free card inserts to jazz up the insides of your cards. In this video, I'm going to walk you through importing them into Cricut Design Space, as well as giving you a few little tips and tricks. So we're going to start off by opening a new project and clicking Upload. We're going to Upload Image and Browse, and you want to browse to the folder that contains the inserts that you want to upload. In this case, I'm going to upload the 3.75 by 5.75 versions. I'm going to open up the folder. In this download, there are three different styles. I'm going to bring in this one and hit open. You can also drag and drop if that's what you like to do. And we're going to select complex from the image type. If you click on simple, you can see what it does. It makes it lose a lot of the detail. Same with moderately complex. So we want to select complex every single time. We're going to click continue. And that's going to bring us to the background remover. Now we don't want to remove any of the background. We want to leave it as is. I've seen a few instances where customers have tried to remove the background and then design space will try to cut around these flowers. You don't want to do that. So we're going to go back. We're not going to touch anything at all under the background remover. And we're going to hit apply and continue. Now we're going to select print then cut image here on the right hand side and not the cut image. Once you have this selected, click upload and you're pretty much there. Now you can take and click on it here and add it to your canvas. Now because this is a ping file, we are going to have to resize it. Now we've actually included sizing information in the file name. So you can see here floral 3 and then we have 375 by 575. So what we're going to do is make sure that we have this highlighted. And in the width section, we're going to type 3.75. We typically like to leave about a quarter inch border around these inserts, which is why it's not a full four inches wide. So I typed in 3.75 into the width. I have this locked. Okay, you want to make sure it's locked. And when you type in 3.75 and tab over, you can see that it automatically adjusts the height to 5.749. That's close enough to 5.75. Okay, so this file is ready to go. Now let me show you one more example of the larger file. So let's go to Upload Image. We're going to Browse. And I'm going to go into the inserts that are made for 5 by 7 cards. And you can see it's 4.75 by 6.75. Again, that quarter inch to make it fit the inside of a 5 by 7 card. So let's bring in this one here. And again, we're going to select Complex and hit continue. We're not going to do any erasing. We're going to hit apply and continue and then select print then cut image and hit upload. And now once it's in your library, you can select it and add it to your canvas. Now you can see it here. And again, the file name is right here. And again, the sizing is in the file name. So you can see here floral two is selected. And it says 475 by 675. So I'm going to highlight it, make sure it's selected. And in the width, I'm going to type 4.75 and then just tab over. And you can see it automatically sets it to 6.754, the four one thousandths of an inch. I'm not going to worry about. And you can see down here that it looks correct 4.75 by 6.75. So these are ready to go. I'm going to hide this one. And you can ignore this little warning here for low resolution. I never seem to have a problem doing this and it doesn't come out low resolution. Uh, but I'm going to hide this. I'm going to hide this one for now. Another thing you can do once you have these in here is grab your text tool and actually write on this. So I'm going to type happy birthday. And of course, you can write as much or as little as you'd like. I'm going to resize this so that it fits onto my little insert, place it wherever you want it. And then of course you can highlight this and go under your system fonts, or if you own any fonts from Cricut, you can use those as well. And I'm just going to find one that I like. That one looks nice. Resize that. Okay. And then I'm going to select all or just drag a selection box around both the insert and the text and hit flatten. Okay, that'll tell Design Space that I want you to print everything together and I want you to cut it all out together so it doesn't try to print anything separately. 
And now you can see here, we have it flattened. There's a print then cut and it's ready to go. Let's hit make. And I'm not gonna worry about saving it. And you can see how beautiful that looks. Now you also wanna make sure that you set your material to the correct size. In my case, I'm using eight and a half by 11 printable cardstock. And then you're gonna hit continue. And your next step is to send it to printer. Make sure that you turn off the bleed. You don't need bleed on this. And I'm gonna use system dialog, which means that when I hit print, a little box from my printer will appear. For whatever reason, on my Mac, it shows up behind my design space. So I always have to move my design space over to see it. And this is where I'll go in and I'll change my media type and quality. And then I can hit print and it'll print this out for me so that I can then cut it using the print then cut feature. You're gonna have your printer print it out and then take the print out, put it on your mat and continue the cut process. Your machine will read the registration marks, cut around the border, and you have a beautiful insert ready to go. Hey, thanks for crafting along with me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, check out some of our other videos and please consider hitting that subscribe button. Also, don't forget to visit our site and check out our free SVG section where you'll find over 140 free SVG files complete with assembly tutorials. I'll see you in the craft room.